What's up, Piper Drivers? And keeping up with my celebration of Star Wars Return of the Jedi in this big box right here is the Danuel Novo Royal Guard Helmet to unbox. Let's get to this. Punch it. Welcome back, Hyperdrivers and newcomers. I am the Medina Lorian, and here on the Hyperdrive, we talk about Star Wars news, collecting, and video games. If you like the content that you see on this channel, please give me a thumbs up so you can let the YouTube algorithms know that we're doing a kick ass job. Hit that subscribe button and punch that bell so that you can jump to light speed every week with us right here on the Hyperdrive. All right, before we get to the unboxing, are you digging the shirt, man? Look at this shirt. This is dope, right? This is the 40th anniversary Return of the Jedi shirt from RSVLTS. I don't know what else that means or what that actually stands for, but that's what I'm gonna go with anyway. So why am I wearing this, right? I'm not being sponsored by this company. The reason why I'm rocking this shirt is because this helmet that I'm gonna be unboxing right here was given to me by my good friend, Eben. And this is Eben's style, man. Eben loves these shirts. So he put, he put me onto the website, and when I got on there, I saw that they had a 40th anniversary Return of the Jedi shirt. Boom, bought it, came to me within a week. Gotta say, I like it. It's subtle, I, and you know, you can tell. Star Wars fans can tell. It's got like lightsabers. I can see like Luke's lightsaber here. I got a Boba Fett right over here. Um, I see a Vader, Vader lightsaber right there. So Star Wars fans, you will know everything on here. It looks like Star Wars. You guys can pick out that stuff. But for like the normal people, when you're walking around, they're just gonna see a, a cool looking shirt, right? I like, the, I like the design. So I like the shirt, man. If you want to get yours, I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to get to RSVLTS. Please tell me that stands for something. Let me know in the comments what you think about this shirt and if that name stands for anything. Let's unbox this helmet. All right, this is a pretty tall box, but this is a very big helmet. <laughs> so let's see what's inside, man. First up, there's something in here. And then we got another box and lots of popcorn. My favorite, popcorn. Yay. Whew. That was a tight fit. That's what she said, right? <laughs> we got, um, this should probably be just the, just the uh, little paper that shows you what, what it is, the helmet, I think. Because you don't get an art box. So, there you go. Imperial Royal Guard Helmet Accessory. Officially licensed costume replica. All right. So this is life size. I wonder if I'm going to be able to put it on. Ooh, more popcorn. Oh boy. <laughs> it's getting everywhere. Oh my God. <laughs> ah, this is going to be such a mess to clean up. <laughs> my OCD is kicking in right now. It's because all I'm seeing is, is corn, is popcorn everywhere. <sighs> okay. Looks like you don't get a stand or anything with it. Kind of wish they would have they would have a stand that comes with their helmets, you know. But we got ways to get around that. Let's see, got some padding, just like with the uh, clone trooper helmet that I got, and then just like with the clone trooper helmet as well, you got this cardboard that they put in the center there, and then it's wrapped in this plastic. Um, I am afraid to touch this. Let's just hold it from the inside. Let me see if I can get that. There we go. There we go. <laughs> wow. This is badass. Yo, man. I love the red. The red is incredible, man. You know, my wife really loves this design because of the red. You know, the Imperials are always black and white. So, you know, but this is just starking, you know? So beautiful. This is the future. Very, very nice job on the paint. I do got to do a little dusting on it because there's, there's some like, uh, like little lint and everything around it and all that, but Evolution. the paint looks very clean and, and, uh, and even, you know? I don't see any areas where it looks like it's, it's off. So that's, that's really nice. That visor looks super cool. Can I get my head into this? Uh, no, that ain't happening. <laughs> this is about as far as I can get my head. I think if I was to put my head any further, it would get locked and stuck in there. My cheeks are actually hitting it. 
when it when it gets in there. So you need an extremely skinny head with a very skinny neck to get your head into this. Let me see if I can do it any other way. Nope, that ain't happening that way. That ain't happening this way. Nope. Not for my head, that ain't working. This is gonna be a display piece. But bad freaking ass, man, I like it. I like it. Woo, this is cool. Definitely really, really cool. The inside is lined, so that's cool. So like if you're gonna take and put this on and wanna wear it, you know, that's nice too. You can, you can rock it, you know, to a con. If your head can fit into it, obviously mine can't, but you know, maybe yours can. Um, so yeah, nice and well padded in there. And if you've got an even skinnier head, I don't, I don't understand who would rock this, but you got extra padding if you want to take and, and you know, fit into it even better. Is <laughs> you got to have like a needle head to get your head into this thing. I, I don't know how, uh, who, who would rock this in my opinion. It's very skinny in the, in, in the inside of the neck here. It's very hard to get your head in there. So this helmet runs $650 as it is, which from the looks of the paint and the design of it, the sculpt and everything, it's pretty nice, man. They did a really nice job with the look of this one. So I'm, I'm definitely happy with it. Uh, and I would recommend it if this is one that you wanna have on your walls. The visor is nice and clean also. Let me get you, see if we get you guys a little bit of a close up on it so you guys can see what I'm looking at. But it is a, a really, really nice paint job, like I said earlier. And I, I love the way the sculpt looks on it. It, it's very clean. So yeah, $650 I think is a really nice deal for this one if you wanted to get it, especially with her sales sometimes. If you can find this one on a sale, I would highly recommend it if this is what you want to add to your collection. Oh, did I get a little scratch there on the front? No! I do. No. That sucks. I take all that back. <laughs> So I got a little bit of a scratch in the very, very front. So, I mean, A is a gift, it's fine. But yeah, I got a little bit of a scratch right there up in the front area there. I don't know if a lot of them came that way, but yeah, I'm not complaining, man. I'm happy with this one. I think uh, I could probably maybe get that refinished and then it'll be just fine. But this is, this is beautiful. Super, super nice, man. But that's my thoughts on it. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments below. What do you think about the shirt? Let me know anything about that in the comments below. Until next time, may the force be with you.